Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just a Dime playing Octopath a Traveler at who <laughs> Don't even ask me where, how, and why. Um, anyway, last episode we made our way over to this part down here. The, uh, the Southern Cousins, where I was blocked off of going into a town, so I gave up. Uh, then we took the boats and we went over to the Rock Island and explored over there. And today we're going to go and try to go over to the Names Village in Totohaha. With the emphasis on try. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Um, well, this is the Nameless Isle. Like, well, this is a different thing there. Because this is a different Nameless Isle. Huh. I will like to check out all these places at a later point, of course. Um... Question. Hello. No, I can't. I don't have. I don't have our chat. I was thinking like. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh bother. Sorry. Is that the spot? Yes. The spot. Uh, let me try elemental barrage. See if there's anything else. Okay, ice and lightning. Nice. Um, also weak to canes. If I had to hazard a guess, or another elemental weakness. This One of the two. <laughs> Is it really worth it? Well, whatever. It's gonna die anyway. Strike them down. Study harder. So, um... Do I get here by way of this? What a grand old stage. Hi. What well, they're dead. Let's go to the seas. Bad dream. Oh. Didn't do that much damage to it. Good soup. Very effective. I need a plan. Let me go to help. I'm feeling all better. Here I go. So I don't really have a way to lower the stats of this thing. Eesh. Um and I well I do have a way uh, and uh no. I do have a way to, <laughs> to increase my attack there, so. Um, let me go and hit you once, and then we're going to go and keep healing up for a bit. Uh, I'm going to... You have healing, yes? Fuck you. Bye. Um, I am going to abide. This last was three turns, so that should be fine. Um, let's go and hit you with holy light. And break you. In the meantime, um. Uh, she can go and use this on herself. Then we are going to go and do. This is a this is a, this is a combination of stuff. Uh, mighty. Uh, no, not mighty. This is physical attack. Do I have anything that... No! Oh, that's unfortunate. 
I thought I had a way to increase elemental damage for everybody. Um, but that is not the case. So instead, we are going to do something like this. Um, That's a little bit annoying. Actually, no, yes, I want to do this. Uh, then I want to do this, and then just use, like, a weed. <laughs> Is that a weed? Um, and then see what happens. What else do we get? Elemental defense. <laughs> eh. Right, so let's get... Um, could... Can I? Is this only on myself? Or I can use this on an ally too? Okay. Um, Oswald does more damage at the moment. So let's get Stroke of Genius. And see if I can get Elemental Attack up. Which I don't think happens. Um, so let's go and not use the thing that I was thinking of doing. <laughs> Thumbs up! I am a... I am a... I'm a gamer. Um, and I'm gaming right now. Well, there goes my idea. Uh, I can still give him advanced magic though. It's not gonna be as good as Alephant's uh, stuff, but... It's gonna be good enough. I could give him this though. Nah, I'm gonna hit him. It's a big old attack. Let me show you what I've learned. Hmm. What'll be better? I guess I'll go for this. Feel the power of the sacred flame. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. No, I cannot use this. <laughs> I can use this, however. Mitch does a decent amount of damage. Might. No, mercy, only nice. pain. no mercy, only pain. Arise, the there we go. They'd probably do like in the 20s if I had defense lowered. Oh, there we go, two people. I need a player. Um, so I can do like two attacks basically each turn now if I want to. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Let's go into that Feel instead. Yeah. I'm only use elephant's teaching on him Very at some point. Da, 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 da. Oh dear. Nah, I just go for it. Whatever. Oof! Uh... Okay. Should probably really, like, start getting people who can actually, like, you know, help. Uh... I'm gonna do this. Uh... Please don't hit them on us. Thank you. Okay. No, okay. So. <laughs> I'm in danger. Okay. He has to be weak to one of these things. Not weak to swords, though. Shit. Um. Spears? No. No! Very well. That's a big no. I, back down. I don't know what this is going to do, but it's not going to be pretty. Let's see, friend. Swallow prey. Okay, they're just gone. Uh, am I just gone like forever, or... You know? Oh. It isn't over yet. 
Uh, are you sure about that? It's just gonna get it. Just gotta get it four times. She's dead. Okay. Um. Well, is this the first game over that I had in this game? Okay. So. I don't know if that is what I am supposed to do. <laughs> I have no clue. Absolutely no idea. Um, am I supposed to do that? Or am I supposed to go around somewhere else? Or... Because the thing that we are trying to reach is right over here. It's this island. And the question is, do I need to... Hmm. Let me go over here. Over to Drop of Hubble. Let's go to the left and see if there's a way north. There is. Okay. That's what we need to do. Nothing happened at all, my friends. May I, have this chance? I totally wasn't terrified out of my mind. It's my turn now. Um... Well, it really wasn't that bad, honestly. <laughs> Overreacting a tiny amount. But that one does seem to be a spicy little boy. But I wasn't really in, like, the best... The best... I wasn't running around to the best crowd. We need a play. I call down the light. What is after axis? There it is. No. Thanks? Yes. I know no cure for evil. Sir? I know you, yeah. I've already been here. Makes sense. Let the experiment begin. The winds of favor blow. Now. I need a play. Me and the frog boys. Winds of frost. What to do? <laughs> Low, rigid wind. That's that. <laughs> of course they managed. Of course this guy managed to silence the two characters in this party that need to use magic to do any fucking damage. Also, it's day. I should turn to night. You are poison. Must be purged. Here I go. Axe attack. It's my turn now. The winds of favor blow. <laughs> Thank you. All right. That reverse. Uh. Here I come. Ah. To work. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> I guess I can try this. Nope. What to do? What to do? I need a plan. Pierce the wings of frost. Calculations complete. Pierce the 
wings of frost. What is after accents, arrows? I won't back down. I kind of hate this area. I mean, I love it aesthetically, but man, do I hate the idea of this area. <laughs> like, gameplay-wise. Because it's confusing. Crocodile alligator! It's a giant gator! Oh, jeez. No. Okay, so yes. That surprises me. In a lot of ways. It's my turn now. This 30 MP, I like a speed for that, yeah. Just wondering. Another herb of serenity. Serenity, yes. Really now, huh? Smite them. What is this? Sinking ruins. Danger level 46. Bye. <laughs> Adios. Oh, hello. Now then. The Demon <laughs> jellyfish. More of them jelly bars. Well, you jelly? Yeah. Oh 
I need a flare. This won't do. Uh, so terror and confusion. It's a good thing that he doesn't do any damage. Unless if he casts a spell. Strike them down. Okay. Very well. I, I guess I called Demon Jellyfish for a reason, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Right. Where am I going? Nobody knows. I suggest you get out of my way. Oh yeah. So sorry. Hmm. Pierce the winds of frost. Go and do this. Just watch. We need a plan. Calculations complete. Pierce the wings of frost. Oh dear. Okay, and I guess I have to go a little bit around to get to that dock over here. Yes. You are a poison that must be hey, I know these big bugs. Might. All right. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, Victor speakers and arrows, and then there's more grab. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. No, rigid wind. Huh. We need a plan. Strike them down. Hmm. What is behind wind? Time to shine. I have no idea. Could maybe be light, so let's go and try that. Burn bright, oh sacred flame. Yes. <laughs> A big yes to that. Study harder. A mental belt. Let the experiment begin. Here I go. Get the fly out of here. To work. Smite them. I need a plan. Strike them down. Need to do. 
do. To work. I won't back down. Smite them. Bum, 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 bum. No. Let me show you what I've learned. Strike them down. All according to plan. So many flies. Mm. Well, I can't really do much, whatever. <laughs> Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Um. Oh dear. Lays on. Again. That's all. Hmm. Burn bright, oh sacred flame. Repent. Raise on, oh sacred flame. Anything to the left over here? No, just like a, a view of that other place. The Nameless Village. Okay, there are people here. Okay. I was curious about that one. Okay. Um, tavern. Or something of the sort. It's not particularly a small village either. There it is. Alright. A lot of base things and then just a tavern. The tavern keep. Alright, Throne, Hikari, and Agnia. Making boots, almost done. Please wait. Bissing, who makes moonshine according to a secret recipe. No one knows the details of this recipe, but people have noticed that she goes out every night to catch huge quantities of bugs and venomous snakes. And easy, very easy. That girl, like prisoner, not right. The older and milder of the village had uh, twin sons. His childhood friend was chosen as the next heir, and he visits her house daily out of concern for her welfare. Unfortunately, the rules forbid any contact between the two. I'll take it. Village rule, avoid air, no meetings, village rule. Father of the girl chosen to be the next heir, he watches his house all day and uh, uh, to make sure she never comes out. To be chosen as the heir is a great honor and as a, as a father he feels nothing but pride. It would not even occur to him to have misgivings. Claver of destruction. Summoning monster. Uh... Hello? Right. Basing who knows only the ancient speech, old Basing, all but forgotten by the youth of today. However, because Basing society is based more on feelings and words, this is not the inconvenience one might expect. Yeah. Big dreams, big hopes, all secret, sorry. Young Basing who runs around the island every day. He is determined to be a hunter when he grows up. His father opposes this. Calling hunting too dangerous, but this only made the boy dig his heels in harder. Beast things and humans are more similar than uh, than either realizes. Provoke like a pro. Um. Aha! Sneaky. Stimulating necklace increases SP as far as I'm aware. A bone. And a 
dead ends. Now let me go back to where I was. What kind of? Outside of why here, state reason. The younger and more competitive of the village had twin sons, though eligible to become the heir, he has he was not chosen for the position. Defying all expectations, he still feels the outcome as a stinging humiliation. Help. A sharp nut. Nothing changes, nothing ever in this village, so boy. An adventurous young beastling who yearns to leave the village and the island and travel uh, countries she has never seen before. Her greatest dream is to find the most amazing thing in the world and bring it back to the village. I lead. Village head. Visitors welcome. Always welcome. Head of the nameless village, her back is deeply scarred from her time as the heir. No one will say how she how she got those scars, and it would not do to ask. Okay. King of Beasts. Hello. Wow, they actually... They take money in this place? <laughs> wow. Jerky delicious. Make some. This thing who lives to relax. He was assigned some important task or other, but was too relaxed to remember what it was. But no one has complained so far, so it's probably fine. No. Well, you just sell more gear. As per usual. Welcome to Nameless Village, you bring stories, tell news from my time. Basing with endless curiosity about everything and everything, she is helpless to resist the lure of a good story. Even after curiosity got her captured and exhibited by humans, if anything, the experience only made her want to know more about humans. Guest welcome, waited long, stay overnight. Young Basing who helps out at the inn, the village sees very few visitors, but she cleans and prepares the rooms for potential guests. Daily, all the same. She cannot wait to show someone uh, some hospitality. Out. Okay, let's try and get this hidden item. Hello. Night, working, daytime, sleeping, sleeping. Basing in charge of patrolling the village by night, he volunteered for the task out of a powerful sense of duty, and definitely not because night patrol is an easy job with few actual responsibilities. Or so he claims, to universal skepticism. Right, there we go. Let me do one thing something. Now, basing a few words, she keeps her distance from the, uh, from the others, quietly fishing on the outside of the village, but she is actually just incredibly shy. When drunk, she can gap with the best of them. Salted seafood. Mythical boar. So once again, I am not strong enough to take care of you. However, I can use this, which I will, I think. Because... Um, well... I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> anyway, mythical horn. What? A thick and heavy horn. Perhaps it can be used for something. Um, I don't expect there to be like a big difference between day and night people. Like who will be like outside is probably going to be a difference. But other than that, I don't expect there to be much else. No, you won't give me that thing. 67, Jesus Christ. Aha! Sir. Um... Fool! fool. That's... Yoink. The Forbidden Bow. Trapped here, village born. Never leaving. Village rule, must obey. Give me your stuff. Bribe you. I <laughs> Bribe this little girl in the beast village. The girl chosen to be the next heir. By long standing tradition, the heir must endure many restrictions on their daily life so that they can serve as a vessel appropriately. Restrictions apply only uh, apply until the next heir is chosen, but when that will be, no one knows. So, I think I've cleared this entire village, maybe. Well, no, 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 wrong. Not the entire village. A lot, yes, but not the entire village. Um, let me check something for a moment, though. 
before we end off this episode. There's still this area over here, but I am pretty sure that's going to have something to do with this. Uh, I guess we'll see. Whatever. I'm not going to think too much about it. Uh, where is this other thing at again? Um, is it in gavel? Yes, or gravel. Gavel. Do I perhaps have another item for you? No. <laughs> the end. Well. Alright. Uh, well, yeah. I don't care. So, my friends. Uh, we are not done yet. Nah. The episode is too short. Let's see. Because we have basically reached every single, like, new town. Which I wanted to do. Um, so, now the question would be... Where to go from here? But I want to go and explore any like optional dungeon that I can run into. Now, this is one thing that, you know, I probably should have done earlier, but you know. Actually finding the dungeons and all that jazz is uh, a little bit of a problem. I think I actually have the light high, high speed test guy once. I'm not 100% sure though. Yes, I do. No, that can wait. We have to replace the broken reflector first. Very good as new. This light is a lifeline for sailors and fisherfolk. Now that it's fixed, everyone can put to, uh, can put to sea with confidence once more. Allow me to express my gratitude on their behalf. Thank you. Lighthouse Keeper's Bandana. Whoopsie. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we have already checked that thing out. There's no other dungeon on this route. There's a road, route, whatever. Um, I guess I will go down south first, I suppose. Cabin of the Sea God we've already checked out. Okay, there's this thing over here, which was a dungeon that I could, like, only enter with one person or something. Um, which is intriguing. So, let's go to Psy first. There's also another quest around here. But I guess I'll go, like, I'm gonna do quests at a later point, because... Uh, I'm probably gonna need to look stuff up and all that jazz. Okay. Hello. I would like to change the party to the point that I can um, have just Cassie. She's a much higher level now, so than last time I tried this. So all I can uh, do is hope that this is going to be good enough. So let us go back over to the place. Monkey! Here I go. I've also been thinking that it might be a good idea for me to go and um, do this stuff during the day. Let me also go and increase the, the game speed because, as you can see, there's a lot of enemies attacking me right now. Oh, silencing means that I can't even use my normal skills. Okay. This is annoying. I know no cure for evil. Shit. <laughs> I even went the wrong way. Are you my next patient? You surprised your foe. I'm just gonna run away. Because <laughs> I don't like these encounters. Speaking of which, I don't have like a skill for that. I don't know though. Uh, preventative measures. Hmm. 
Right, increased success rate when fleeing. There's also like evasive maneuvers where I can like avoid encounters basically. Anyway, let's go and just turn it today. <laughs> then we should normally not have to deal with. Like the encounter should be easier, in theory. All this plentiful? I have no idea. I think this dungeon was either 40 or 50. <laughs> I hope it's 40 as opposed to 50. Like a uh, level difficulty. Forty, okay. The decaying temple. Let's see. Um hmm. You are a poison that must be my turn. Uh I don't really have a weakness for you, but that's fine. I could technically like equip the arms master thing, but whatever. This will make it all right. My journey will not be of sipping dust. An energizing pomegranate. Okay. Hello. Hey, actually, has a weakness that I can exploit, which means that he dies very quickly. Hmm. What is going on here? Twenty thousand leaf. Not bad. Hello, Lizard Man the second. <laughs> Nibble. <laughs> Forgive me. If you're wondering, yes, I'm slightly terrified what's at the end of this. I see a person standing there. Okay. I expected him to die much easier. My journey will not All right. <sighs> Who are you and what is your deal? <laughs> the longer I look, the prettier it gets. Ah, oh, your sword that's gorgeous belongs in the hands of a true warrior. <laughs> Can you hear it? Listen closely, it says it wants to be wielded by me. And it's thirst for blood. Neither of us is willing to back down. Well, no. Sir? Karma. There's a weakness to axe. Unsheathing stands. Single slice. Karma's hostility grows. Here I go. Double slice. Grows even further. Okay, so 
I am going to get my thing. I cannot lower his defense, though. I don't have an ability for that. Um, I guess that's fine, really. Just gonna break him. Get my damage buff. These hands! There we go. This guy's ripped there. Karma stands ready. Tiger and wolf. So now we just have like different weaknesses. Single slice. <laughs> That's interesting there. Alright, I was gonna do triple slice. Is that its limit? Well. Wow. Anyway, break him. Gives me the damage buff. And another branch blade. Flawless stance. A single shield. But no weaknesses. This will make it all right. Okay. Ah, oh, so now it's going to be like a. Hmm, I see. Here I go. So now we're not going to break anymore. Now we're just going to. Okay, I'm gonna go in a bite then. I know if there's ways that you can break a shield without um, having um, the thing. Yeah. I would need something like the kick or um, Terminus's ability for that. Do I have like defensive stuff? I have a bite and then. Start wall, yeah. Let's go for it. My gate's barred. My turn. Do I have anything that allows me to confuse the stand? Uh, put her to sleep, crit rate. Nullifies her attribute raising effect, deals. Certain types of damage inflicts random, slightly negative status effects. Okay. Um. Oh. Killer Karma. Okay. <laughs> well, um. Really now. So I need something that allows me to break him. <laughs> That's stupid. Um, so I need something that allows me to break him without... Um... Okay. Like that allows me to lower his shield point without um, actually having a weakness. Which at the moment I can only think of one thing and that is Dancer. Um... Hmm. Let's just see how this is gonna go. I already have all the skills with this. <laughs> Am I surprised though? Should I be surprised? Um, anyway, I won't be able to do the other thing now though. Um, but I think it should be fine, right? Oh, I can just hold the skip, nice. What to do? What to do? All right, Karma. Karma is a bitch, am I right? I did only just notice something very unfortunate, though. 
Um, I don't have Divine... Like, I don't have Ranch Thunder anymore. So... But I guess it's better than, you know, dying. <laughs> Here I go. Let's see, because I could do stuff like sweeping Gale or try to go for something slightly different. Drastic measures, uh, weak to poison, replenish health, poison axe. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, let me just go and do this. Whatever. I think I can still do it a size amount of damage with this ice. 3000. <laughs> it's not that much. <laughs> I think my normal axe attack would have been better. That's a new attack. I'm going to this touch. Right. <laughs> hmm, I think it's based on his health. When he swaps to a different thing. That's intriguing. Armor cleaver, that's something going to lower my defense. Yep. Ow. Uh, let me go and just heal myself up again. Then I will break you again, and then we can... Why do you... Anyway, whatever. There we go. Um... Ah, oh, fuck it. Actually, no, it's not gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> I learned. Attack again, ouchies. This will make it all right. Here I go. This is not gonna be that easy. So the only way that I can think of making this... Work a little bit better. Well, almost say like this works. <laughs> it's gonna take half a freaking century, but it's gonna work. Which I think is the, uh, in the end, the most important part. Okay. This has to work. Um. That is the only way, right? Or does hired help also work? But even still, like, hired help with, like... <laughs> what kind of damage can I do with hired help? Um, the only thing I can do with hired help is... Well, I guess I could just throw my fucking money and do a, bot a buttload of damage, probably. Let's try doing that. I've got a lot of money anyway. <laughs> Might as well spend it. And I get hired help. I'm just gonna get all of these things, because why not? There we go. Okay, then I have those things. Okay. Um, this way I also have, like, another, you know... Another... Uh, weapon that I can use. I don't have swords anymore though, but whatever. Okay, let's try that again. This time with merchants. And I can also use the rest and all that jazz. Alright, you fucking asshole. Neither of us is willing to back down. My turn. I'm gonna like keep this fast forwarded too, because it takes a long time for him to swap his freaking animations. Do? This and then it is time for fully boosted hired help and
Just ship in regards of their weak points. There we go. Okay, I do have the beast thing. Right. I wanted to make sure because I wasn't I wasn't 100 percent sure anymore. Ooh, that was that was some good stuff. They only took me 30k money. Right, tiger and wolf. Weaknesses change. Um If I had to hazard a guess. Okay, thank you. Single slice. Okay. Um, then it's gonna do second and third. Let's go and do this. What? What the fuck kind of BS did he just do? What the fuck was that? Dude just countered me. Alright then. Um, I do not know what your weaknesses are, but I will just go for fucking dandelion times four. Miss! And an eye for an eye. Huh? Does it just like ignore? Mult uh -huh. What? <laughs> Can somebody explain to me what just happened? Because I don't know. Hmm, I guess that is probably what like the stance of the wolf is, huh? Okay, tiger and wolf, and then he does this. Okay. Um, let me go and hit you with an arrow. Okay. Now I am wondering something. Does the same apply for hired help? Oh my god. How? So basically any attack that does like multiple hits. I I don't understand. Um Yeah, no. This makes no sense to me. What to do? What to do? Because if I do this over here, then it misses. And then I get eye for an eye. You know, I do have another idea there. Um, Figures Victor, which is something you don't need in this fight. Um, hang tough. There we go. Either that or um, the reviving one. May as well try. It doesn't take me that long to try again. <laughs> this is starting to become... A little bit stupid. Just a little bit. <laughs> I can see I can see the challenge that it poses though, which is interesting. But I like stance with a wolf is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. <laughs> well actually no, the thing that's absolute bullshit is the final one. Or it's just like I don't have a weakness, so uh get fucked. The veteran's still doing as much damage as always. Here I go. All right. Um. Well now. Here I go. Kind of wondering though, this also misses. It doesn't matter what you do. It goes for it nonetheless. 
Which is more than a little stupid. Um, let me get the healing touch. So normally in theory I shouldn't be- I should not die in one shot. There we go. And then it goes to follow stance. Alright. Let me go and do another healing touch. Single slice. And this time I have... The best things. I need a helping hand. Get fucked, asshole. <laughs> here I go. Get the veterans in here. Fuck this guy up. Good luck. I know no cure for That's it. That was interesting. Got a keepsake sword. Precious sword passed down for generations in a particular house. Was there like a side thing for that? Then have like a side quest for that. Um, side stories. Oof. Um, those are like the the other things. I don't remember. But his innocence. Uh... Give me a moment. Uh, fuck me. Fix the tower bell. Just make everything. Meh. Wish to procure something. Tried putting it out, but it won't budge. Maybe it's strong enough. Aha! Where is this? Ah, uh, this is inside. Okay. Makes sense, because I'm right next to the side. Okay. I want to finish this quest before I... Uh, before I move on. You're not that person, right? No, no. No, no, no. This is in. There we go. I can't believe it. My father's sword. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. This is a memento of my father. He was an incredible warrior, but never once did this sword uh, was the, used. To, uh, never used this sword to kill. He said a true warrior can win a fight without ever drawing his blade. I swear upon his sword to become just as strong as he was. Really now. <laughs> I was expecting something more grandiose after a fight like that, but I guess not. Anyway, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Just Fed where I was playing. Octopath Traveler. And next episode, we are going to go and continue running around the world and checking out different little uh, <gasps> dungeons. Goodbye.